Jever Air Force Base, a bustling military outpost in northern Germany. It's here that they gut about a dozen decommissioned fighter jets every year. This F-4 Phantom fighter jet was retired from active duty about six months ago. F-4s have flown for decades in North America, Europe, and the Middle East. This one made its final landing at Yaver. But now, this fighting machine, equipped with twin turbojet engines, is headed for a breakdown. The man in charge is Captain Christian Nastula. He directs all breakdown operations here. The aircraft behind me was built in the early 70s. It has now passed 6,300 flying hours. You can say that it reached the end of its life. This F-4 may have been grounded, but its service to country isn't over. There are still about 50 F-4s serving in the German Air Force. And this decommissioned fighter is a critical source of the components needed to keep the fleet going. That's what brings Captain Timo Young on base. He works with an active squadron of F-4 Phantoms, and he's eager to get his hands on some of the fighter jet's components. We need spare parts for the other planes that we are still flying and the F-4 is not produced anymore, so we are quite in need of some spare parts. Every plane that we have in service is older than I am. It's an old lady, but it's getting the job done. It's a high-stakes operation that has to be done right. It takes about 10 teams of specialists to break her down. Not only is the plane big, but it's still armed with weapons that must be deactivated safely. The crew will systematically dismantle her piece by piece over a 10-week period. The breakdown will unfold in three stages. Stage one, testing. Check the mechanics and electronics to find out what's working and if it can be salvaged. Stage two, disarm. Remove and destroy any remaining weaponry. Then comes the labor-intensive part. Stage three, dismantle. Remove all salvageable components, including the engines, ejection seats, wings, and dozens of internal instruments. When they're done, all that will be left is the aluminum carcass. And a shipment of vital parts ready to be rebuilt and installed in active duty Phantoms. Stage one of the breakdown kicks off with a crucial test of the power behind the package, the Phantom's twin turbine engines. This model is no longer in production and can't be replaced, so every engine they can salvage is a potential gold mine. They could go for upwards of a million dollars on the open market. But first, Captain Nestula needs to put the engines through a series of tests to make sure they're in top condition. The engine is really complicated, it's really a piece of art. 